welcome to day 11 of the 30 Days to Become Super Flexible program. I'm Keith Morton and we're going to add on the fourth quad and hip flexor stretch today. So remember, um, I'll show you the exercise first, the new stretch, and then we're going to basically warm up with a one minute walk on the spot, followed by the repeating the first, the second, the third, and now the fourth uh, exercise for the quadriceps and hip flexor. So, first of all, the new exercise we're gonna do, the new stretch, is actually a simple one, and you can do two different variations. The stretch is carried out on the floor, so I want you to now grab yourself a cushion and lower yourself down to the floor, and variation one is to just lie on the side of your body, the underneath leg is bent, and the quadriceps stretch is hold your ankle with your other outside hand, and then you pull your knee back as far as you feel comfortable, stretching the hip flexor and the quad. So it's basically the leg on top, pull it back, and then you would do 30 seconds on that side, and then the other side, you can lean on the cushion just for support, underneath leg bent and bring your knee forward, take your hand on top, pull the ankle back, and then basically stretch the hip and the quad, pulling the ankle at the same time. Again, be careful not to put your head back and arch your back, just keep your head looking forward. That's one variation. The one we're going to do today, actually, is a slightly more advanced one, which is where you lie flat on your tummy, again, with a, a cushion, and you take hold of one ankle in, pull the ankle up. Just be careful of that. When you bring it up, you may get a little bit of cramp in your hamstring, um, in which case, go back to the other variation. But if you can, relax that leg and take hold of your ankle, then bring your knees together, support your head on the cushion, and just pull your ankle in to the bottom, stretching the quad and hip flexor. To increase that stretch, if it loosens off, you can push your hip in and tense your gluteal muscle. So tensing this muscle here whilst you pull in the ankle, you can push down the hip to the ground. That's a way of increasing the stretch intensity. So, let's crack on. So we're gonna go on day 11, I'll start the timer. Let's go on to the one minute walk. Again, toes and heels, keep breathing. We're gonna do the four different stretches, the three from before, and add the fourth one on today. So remember, we need our chair for the first two stretches, and then we're gonna basically do floor kneeling hip flexor stretches, um, and then we're gonna basically do the new one, which is the lying quadricep stretch on the floor. And again, I recommend perhaps you may wanna get a cushion or just support your head on your hands uh, if you can. So first of all now, let's take another 30 seconds, let's pump it a bit more. Good, a little bit faster. So why stretch? Well, again, as we said in previous videos, it keeps your body nice and loose, which prevents a lot of stiffness, a lot of aches and pains. It gives you more energy as you're not fighting your own resistance. And long-term, it keeps you that vitality and that agility you need to keep young. So really, really important part of fitness, keeping flexible and ideally super flexible. So the first one, we'll grab our chair. Okay, let's get our chair and we take our standing Quadriceps stretch, pull the ankle in, other leg slightly bent, so remember, follow along with me, and we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. Remember to keep breathing, okay? Get your head down or your chin down, and you can bring that knee a bit further back to increase the stretch, and hold that, stretching the quadricep and hip flexor. A few more seconds, then we're gonna change sides. Always use this for support. People often try and balance, but you've got enough on your, plate with trying to relax the muscles, you don't need to be balancing at the same time. It's not a, a, a functional exercise, this is just a stretch down to increase your flexibility. So you need to relax everything apart from um, basically the ankle pulling into the bottom, but the muscles are relaxed, you're breathing normally, and you mustn't be too tense by trying to balance. So hold the chair for balance. Bring that knee back, pull the ankle in, 30 seconds on both sides. We're then going to turn the chair around for the second stretch, which is the Hip flexor one, the chair hip flexor. Foot goes forward, back leg back, turn the foot straight, lift up tall and drop down into the stretch, pushing your leg that is back, push the heel down. You may also get a calf stretch on that. And you're stretching the upper hamstring, but mainly the hip flexor of the leg that is back. You can just push into that stretch and hold, try and increase that angle, push the heel down on the back leg, push the hip forward on this leg, and then change sides. So the chair hip flexor, put the foot straight, drop into that stretch, use your hands on the chair for balance, try and breathe 
and relax. And although we're only doing 30 seconds each side, once you learn these stretches, you can just hold them as long as you want. The longer the better, really. At least a minute will get really quick, quicker results. So it's very important. Drive into that stretch. The third one is the chair hip flexor. Or sorry, the third one is the kneeling hip flexor. We do next, we throw the chair away. Onto the floor, drop your leg down. Drop your knee back. Hand on the knee, hand on the hip, and just open up the hip. 30 seconds, just holding. A few seconds. That's it, open up the hip. Keep your chin down, keep your chest down, then drop the knee, drop the hip forward, and the knee pushes over the toe line. Just holding like so. Almost there, the kneeling hip flexor. Good, changing sides. One foot forward, back knee, hand on knee, hand on hip, and just drop forward. Opening up the angle between your front leg and the back leg, pushing down. We're gonna move on then to the new additional one, the lying quadricep, just pushing down. A few more seconds. Open that hip up, keep your chin down, just holding that stretch. A few more seconds. Almost there, dropping down, keep breathing. Good, okay, we stand up. Okay, so we're gonna go back down now, remember, with the cushion onto the floor. Okay, pull the ankle in, that's right, right, and pull the ankle in and pull the knees together and just hold that stretch, stretching the lying quadriceps stretch, pushing the hip in if you want to, increase it. Get your hand a bit higher up the foot. Pull in and breathe. The lying quadriceps stretch, 30 seconds on each side. Just holding that stretch. Changing sides. Just be careful you don't hurt your back, your knees together, and put your ankle in. Stretching the quadricep on the other side. Just pull the ankle in, push the hip in, tense your glutes. This muscle here, the same leg, the bottom, increase that stretch. Try and always look to develop the stretch. Push the hip in, holding a few more seconds. Good, almost there now. Good, and then come slowly up. Good, okay, so there we have it. That's uh, all for day 11, and I'll see you tomorrow when we're gonna add one more for day 12 of the 30 days to Super Flexibility Program. See you tomorrow.